what is up everyone welcome back to my channel today i will be talking about my top three moments from the wheel of time season 2 episode 4 titled daughter of the night let's do this at number three i have the opening scene of this episode ishamael freeing lanfear from her prison in the books we don't ever see the forsaken being released from their prison this is something that happens off screen but here we see Ishamael destroying what I think is a seal to the Dark One's prison and releasing Lanfear, the daughter of the night. As he's doing this, he is speaking the dark prophecy that directly has to do with Lanfear. Now, so far, we have two Forsaken that we know about out there in the real world, but in the books, there are 13 of them. I really doubt that we are going to have all 13 Forsaken in the show because to be honest, some of them are kind of boring and useless. So if they decide to reduce the amount of Forsaken to just the most important ones, that would be completely fine. At number two, I have once again a scene that involves Lanfear. So Lanfear is going by the name of Selene and she is completely obsessed with Randall Thor because back during the Age of Legends, Lanfear was totally in love with the past dragon, Louis Theron Telemon, who ended up rejecting her. But now, in a brand new age, Rand is the reincarnation of the dragon. So Lanfear doesn't waste any time and immediately goes after her man, but Moraine puts a stop to it. Lanfear and Rand have been hanging out for some time, and Rand is falling in love with her. But it looks like Moraine was able to decipher the dark prophecy that Bel Domon sold to her on episode 1. And she realized that the prophecy was about Lanfear. And so she finds her hanging out with Rand and stops her by cutting her throat. She is obviously not dead because we see some weird stuff happening with her eyes and I don't want to talk about it because I'm hoping they explain it in the show, but the Forsaken do have some unique powers that come with a lot of experience and some other stuff. At number one, I have the Wolf Brother scene, which is probably my favorite scene so far. Elias explains to Perrin what is going on with him and the wolves, and we get an explanation for what those weird visions he sees are. The wolves and the wolf brothers are in constant communication, and that is by sending each other images that they need to then interpret, and we see this when our favorite wolf Hopper tells Perrin his name. When we first saw Perrin having those visions, I thought that Perrin in the show would have a version of Min's powers, but now that we see that that's just the wolves communicating with each other and other wolf brothers, I think that that's a really good way to show these very unique powers. And that is it for now guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week for the next episode. Take a good care.